back to 10 on top and say hi to my awesome victorious co-host Elizabeth Gillies. What's up? All right, so it's every student's favorite time of year again, graduation. What was your big day like? My big day? Well, I haven't graduated yet from high school very soon, but uh, my eighth grade graduation, I remember, way back in the day. <laughs> it was fun. I got to hang out with my friends, and we went to a big party afterwards. It's good. It's nice to graduate. Nice to move on. Yeah, that sounds like a blast. <laughs> For my high school graduation, my mom made me a big cake with embarrassing pictures. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, that was my only memory of that, actually. Well, oh. <laughs> the school year might be ending, but one of our favorite shows is finally starting up again. Pretty Little Liars is back, and we are dying for some scoop on the new season. So they earned this week's top spot. He wasn't moving, right? and he was not breathing. Because he was dead. Is dead. Not was, is. Season one basically left off with Spencer and Ian in the bell tower having a fight and this mysterious person in a sweater actually pushed Ian off. So then we are left with seeing his body hanging from a rope, only to find that when they bring the police back in there, his body is nowhere to be seen. So what happened to Ian? That's what we're gonna find out. So unless we're saying Ian's a zombie, someone moved the body. It was probably stuffed in the trunk of Ace's car. We also left off in season one with knowing that Emily might be making a move. So I'm gonna tell you something, and she is gonna be moving. She's packing boxes. Is Emily gonna move in with her dad? I don't know. Do we wanna talk about that thing? I was very surprised when we got the new scripts going back into season two. We're just looking at each other, and all you hear is, like, silence, gasp. <gasps> like, we're just like, oh, that happens, oh my gosh. Like, it, it just gets more insane. But if Shay could write the script, she'd take the insanity in a whole different direction. This is going to be a little bit of my personal desires. <laughs> I would love for the girls to go on a school trip that takes them to Europe, where they travel through Rome, Paris, Greece, everywhere. And if they're on the search for A or, or A drives them out there, that's fine with me. I'll do it. I think that would be really, really fun. <laughs> well, congratulations.